This is The Technical Difficulties, and we are playing Two of These People Are Lying, because two of these people will be. Joining me are Chris Joel. Hello. Gary Brannan. Hot and spicy casserole by the yard. <laughs> and Matt Gray. Is that a length or is it outside? <laughs> That's the noise your mother made last night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the way this game works is the three of us have all random-ishly picked some Wikipedia articles and written down the names of titles of those articles on these pieces of card. Tom is now going to pick one of those articles, and all three of us will claim that it's the one that we chose and claim that we know anything about it. What happens, though, is only one of us is telling the truth and two of us are telling a lie. And today we are talking about... Ghost Festival. <gasps> yes, it is annoying me that this is slightly to join the angle on here. I can't decide which way to hold it. Ghost Festival. Uh, let's go around the table on this one. Matt, what is Ghost Festival? It's actually Host Festival and it's in Croatia. Okay. Uh, Gary. What's Ghost Festival? A spiritual celebration in China. Spiritual celebration in China. Chris. A series of minor vehicular events in the American Midwest. Minor vehicular events. <laughs> OK, that was a horrible way to phrase it. It was a little festival that popped up in the late 2010s when ghost riding was big on the YouTube's Yo, where oh. you would ga gather together in your mini truck or other vehicle and ghost ride around a town. Well, probably not around a town, probably at some predetermined car park or something. For, for young'uns out there, ghost riding? Uh, keeping your car moving while stepping outside it, doing funny poses. Generally, styling it out, probably not an accurate phrase for the subculture. <laughs> so sue me. Uh, and obviously, as anything gets big, somebody goes, I'll do a festival. I can't afford to, or be bothered to organise a festival. Then somebody else takes it over, then it dies in ignominy. That's how most of these things work. Yeah. Where's ignominy? <laughs> in the American Midwest. <laughs> Actually, there is almost certainly yep. a town called, like, ignominy, Nebraska. Also, 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 you'd watch that Western, wouldn't you? What? The town called Ignominy. Oh. Mind you, yeah. has, that's probably like, um, what's his name? Bergman does a western. It's just a lot of people sat there going. It's Birdman, Batman's brother. Bergman, <laughs> not Birdman. I thought you said Birdman as well. Sorry. Ingmar Birdman. <laughs> oh, Ingmar, oh, I know Ingmar Birdman. <laughs> you're playing, like you're playing Birdman. chess with death, but it is like, <laughs> it's, it's just. But it's a f dressed as a crow. <laughs> Actually, I think you'll find that it was the accurate imagery. Mm, well, the spectre thereof. Mm. Uh, ghost riding festival in the in in the the wilds of America. Well, not really the wilds, but the Midwest. Oh, the yeah. flat bits. You know what they're doing on a steep yeah. hill, do you? <laughs> <laughs> not, oh. not California, not New York. <laughs> Bit in the downhill middle. ghost riding. <laughs> oh, that's risky. That's risky. Just just keep running to catch up with it as time. It's like cheese rolling, but <laughs> with a car. <laughs> yeah. Spiritual celebration in China. Yes. Do you know anything more about it? It's a spiritual celebration in China where they celebrate ghosts, is the short answer. G Gary, I'm just I'm just gonna remind you. I know the bloody rules. I'm working my <laughs> way around it. You have to convince me that it's true. Sometimes you don't get a point if it is true on your side and you convince me it's false. <laughs> Sometimes these articles just have to, you have to be blunt at the start. When All you right. say, what is a spiritual celebration in China? The answer is, it's a spiritual celebration in China. I think it's in the seventh month of the year. You celebrate your, it's celebrating ghosts and they, they are unleashed from hell and they come round. And, and you're, this is where you're going to be like, you're making this up, but I'm not. The ghosts have very thin necks because they're not allowed to eat. So you, they, they, you leave food out for them and stuff, but they're not allowed to eat because they're ghosts. It's so you have lots writing. of celebrations. I know! <laughs> and it's pronounced thwait. Um, <laughs> thin necks, right. I'm writing thin, thin necks. necks. Right, and you burn paper, you have, you have lanterns and all that kind of stuff as you have in any of these traditional Eastern celebrations. So it's, it's probably a little bit like um, Day of the Dead in, in Mexico, that kind oh, of thing. Not the film. Not the film. <laughs> you can make a film of it, I suppose. Huh. Well, really so, something neck, really artsy and Really slow. thin neck ghosts. Matt, it's a celebration in Croatia. It's it's a festival rather than a celebration, um, but it's not like a music festival. It was 2011. I only ran for one year. Oh, okay. in um old, I can't think of the word like mansiony, like what's a cliff mansion called? Scary. Yeah, Cl 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 Cliff Clifford. Cliff <laughs> Cliff Clifford the Cliff Top Mansion. That's a very different kids book. <laughs> it's it's in an old old house on like on a hill. No no no, hold on hold on. We're still we're still <laughs> the big red mansion. 
All the children wanted to play in Clifford, but Clifford was too dangerous. Well, is that one in Scarborough that fell off the cliff? That's yeah. <laughs> Clifford the big red brick mansion. Croatia, Matt. It is a um, like music but also creative arts festival happening in a big house in Croatia. And it's got catacombs or tombs. Or Say that again. It's got catacombs or oh, tombs. Oh, that was less it. good that time. Within the tombs, there are people, I don't know, showing their wares, doing like little arty things. And a few bands played in the ballroom of it as well. There weren't any I've heard of. Um, I mean, it was Croatia in 2011. Yeah, it's a it's small before, festival in the... In a, it, it's right. before it got popular, but yeah. See, I was really hoping that I'd be able to throw one of these out immediately. Well, just Chuck Garry's. That's standard. No, that's standard, isn't have it? You, yeah. Have you been to the place no, you mentioned? I'm, I'm, not ch- I'm not chucking <laughs> Garry's, because Garry's sounds... Re- Garry's the one I'm, I'm most sure about at this point. Well... I like hmm. minor vehicular events. <laughs> I really wish I'd not get used t- that phrase. Get a t-shirt with that on. <laughs> I like minor vehicular events. But I feel like it, it would have been Ghost Riding Festival or something like that. I don't think it would it would have made it to Wikipedia. So I, I don't think it's that. Have you seen what's on Wikipedia? I was going to say, <laughs> having trolled through some <laughs> on the train today to come up with articles. Matt, I like everything about it. I, it sounds like an event I'd like to see. But the thing that killed it for me was you going, it's pronounced host festival. Yeah. It's, it, had, it has the IPA in the front of it. I, it made no sense. It didn't describe it, but it. I'm, I'm obviously guessing the IPA because mm. I can't read IPA, but it didn't look like what I would have expected. I wouldn't, if it was Ghost Festival, it wouldn't have had the IPA, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's for International Phonetic Alphabet. Oh. It's the, not, not India Pale Ale, Gary. I was kind of hoping there, I'll be honest. <laughs> Gary, I think it's you. I think, and this might just be something dredged up in mind that I'm confusing with some other festival that I've heard of, but Gary, I think it's you. Am I right? You think I'd be telling the truth about the festival of thin neck ghosts that aren't allowed to eat? <laughs> yes. Correct. Yes! <laughs> it is. I shall reveal. <laughs> During the month, uh, the gates of hell are opened up and ghosts are free to roam the earth where they seek food and entertainment, rather like opening up an old people's home. Uh, these ghosts are believed to be ancestors of those who forgot to pay tribute to them after they died off or were never given proper ritual send-off. They have long, needle-thin necks because they have not been fed by their family or as a punishment so they're unable to swallow. Right. Family members offer prayers to their deceased relatives, offer food and drink, this is the best bit, and burn hell banknotes. I've heard of that. What? They're, spe- they're special paper fake banknotes mm. made for the ceremony. I've heard of that. I, yeah, Gary, congratulations. A point to you. Hey. A point to me for guessing correctly, Ooh. which I'm quite happy about. Uh, and Gary, you need to go find a new article for the second half. Gary has gone and got a new article. I'm going to pick one at random from this pile. You have okay? you shuffled? Shuffled. I have shuffled thoroughly. Thoroughly? Thorough shuffle. How horrible. I know. And we have... The 1878 North Lancashire by-election. <laughs> now, there are a few things I can guess from this title. It's it's a by-election in North Lancashire in 1878. So, no, you know what? Maybe it maybe it isn't. Maybe it's something else. I'm going to start with Chris this time. Um, the 1878 North Lancashire by-election was a by-election in North Lancashire. In 1878. Do you want want to tell me something special about it? Why on earth does that have a Wikipedia article? It happened on the 8th of April because some guy, first name or surname was Stanley, I forget which, who was the incumbent, got made Minister of... No, General... Crabs. No! (laughs) (laughs) Had to go to hospital due to unforeseen circumstances with a lady that wasn't his wife. This Don't write this down. This is about me and him talking about crabs. Oh, um, right, okay. Uh, because he got made... What's what's high up? Not Prime Minister. Privy Councillor. No, next... Cabinet. Yeah, something... Uh, First Sea Lord. Minister of War, <laughs> something of war, Chief something of war. All right. Chief, chief of war. Chief, boss of war, but boss not war. right at the top of the tree. All right. Um, incidentally, yes, there, there is a first sea lord. I, that is the, that's the head of the sea. Yes, he's the head of the king, navy, isn't it? He's king navy. I do like the fact that if we, if if the if Britain ever has a space force, there will be the first space lord. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have the job just it for will. the title. Marvel will sue. 
Oh, yeah, fair. Oh. Lord of Space. Mm. Just enough to get round the trademark. Mm-hmm. All right. Slightly different theme tune. Just yeah. two or three notes <laughs> off key at the end. <laughs> Gary, the 1878 North Lancashire by-election. That was a by-election <laughs> held for the North Lancashire constituency yes. in 1878, yes. which, smart ass, is notable for the winning candidate being dead. Oh, now I know that's definitely happened in the past. All right, winning candidate can't being happen. dead. Can't Present happened in the future. All right, Matt, the 1878 North Lancashire by-election. It didn't happen. Oh, it was due to happen, but it didn't. All right, let's. Uh, so we've got one where the incumbent became Minister of War, and oh, were... whatever it is, I feel like it was a longer title than that. All right, uh, one where the winning candidate was dead. And one where it just didn't happen. Matt, why didn't it happen? Agricultural protests. Oh. All of the candidates were seem... Oh, what's the word? Seeming to be um, championing a lot of the newer technologies of the time and all of the factory kind of stuff. And that was driving work away from the farmland. Um, so a farmer's union were trying to recognise the fact that no one was representing them and protested the by election, like tractors everywhere and stuff. There's absolutely nothing funny about that, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, tractors everywhere, everywhere is <laughs> sentence of the week, as far as I'm concerned. Opens under stairs cupboard, tractor. <laughs> <laughs> just, kind of, just kind of rearing up and going for you. <laughs> oh, <it> feels... <laughs> Thank you, mother, for the gruel. <laughs> <laughs> They've got, like, uh, bouncy suspenders. Ghost riding yeah, their tractors. Like. <laughs> I was just thinking Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, but with the tractors. tractors. <laughs> what, flying around a room with Tippy Hedren? <laughs> yes! Yes, exactly <laughs> that. In a phone box. <laughs> Gary, the, the main candidate was yes. dead. What happened then? Well, he, he kind of got buried, which is the I normal thing that happens. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he got better. What, was there then another by-election or did he actually... Well, yes, there was, because the winner, I stress again, was dead. <laughs> I mean, they have... Didn't just you know, serve out his term very quietly. Very quietly. <laughs> well, it's 1878. Maybe they didn't have a procedure rule for that. What, so you think they just transported a... No! I just thought so there'd be, an empty, I thought be an empty chair. It what? would be more useful than some of them. <laughs> 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 Unexpectedly ended up briefly Prime Minister around about the start of the First World War. <laughs> <laughs> just like with a rod up his back to stay up right. People had to crouch behind him to give the maiden speech. What is this? <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's, only parliamentary. <laughs> Weekend at Black Rods. No, <laughs> he was dead, you prat. I said that at the start. Stone actual dead. He died during the course of the count. Yes, so, uh, during the course of the count. Yes. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Takes hours. <laughs> Not during the campaign, during the count. Well, no, because if he died during the campaign, it would be rather unfair to elect him. You think most people... This is what I was... Right, exactly. This is why I was confused. He died in the course of the count. Right. So during the course of the counting of the ballots, he had a heart attack and died. Or collapsed. You know, you assume in these things no one actually looked too closely, but, you know, he were dead. And then won. Well, they have re- he died, but no one had realised. They just thought he hadn't turned up for the announcement of the results. So they read it all out. They remembered, you know, it was Lord Stanley or something, was, was duly elected as a representative of the constituency of North Lancashire. And he's, you know... Julie was elected. Yeah, ju- well, he's dead, isn't he? As soon as... <laughs> And so, it, obviously, it takes time for there to organise another by election You can't just go, oh, well, should we just have another go? So, for a brief period of time, their representative was, and I stress this again, a corpse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and may I say, he's one of the best they had. <laughs> Corpses or politicians? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Gary? Good God. I'm going to rule you out. And I th- I'm going to rule you out because I think that's just a story from somewhere else that you've tacked onto that. And I don't think it's yours. The man is, of course, an expert in late 19th century North Lancashire politics. I refuse to believe you know anything about anything from Lancashire. That's (laughs) that's fair. And I know it just for the the price of mockery. (laughs) I genuinely can't pick between between you two. Um, I think if it didn't happen, there wouldn't be an article about it. I think it'd be free. I think it'd be under something bigger. So, Chris, I think you're... Man becoming Minister of War is the most likely one there. I think it's you. Am I right? It is. Yes! 
Yes, two for two. <laughs> and as was the spirit of the time, he returned unopposed. Oh, right, okay. Secretary of State for War. I knew Secretary it was a bigger... Secretary of State for War. Wow, there we Frederick go. Stanley with a K. In Stanley? In Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an obvious joke. Let's all go for it. Frederick Stanley. Frederick Stanley. Uh, the, the, the K is silent. It's pronounced Stanley. <laughs> uh, congratulations, then. Uh, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, there's one point to Gary. There's one point to oh, Chris. Oh, no. We've handed him the win. I've, g- I've got two points. I've won a thing. Yay! Yay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for, those, for that sarcasm from Chris Yule. <laughs> Gary Brannan. Matt Gray. We still don't have an outro. No, we still don't. Bye.